there are a number of other anatomical changes which are shared in the catarrhine primates as well. For example, the size of the facial, hypoglossal, and trigeminal nerves were increased. The brachial plexus moves closer to the head. The menisci of the knee are more disc-shaped. The ear develop an external auditory meatus. Blood was drained from the brain through the internal jugular vein as opposed to the external jugular and vertebral veins in more primitive mammals. Many of the genes which allow human cells to identify self and thus function in the immune system date to families which all catarrhine primates share. So there were modifications of immune proteins in early catarrhines. There were even infections by viruses which inserted their DNA into the catarrhine primate DNA. So Catarines as diverse as humans and old world monkeys share the same remnants of viral DNA inserted into their genomes. Plus, there was a whole host of other genetic changes as well, whether this be creation of new genes such as apolipoprotein A or the modification of genes such as many of the globins. Beta globin, for example, was no longer expressed during fetal development. And so there's a whole host of changes which unite the catarrhine primates as a group because old world monkeys and apes possess genetic and anatomical traits which the prosimians and new world monkeys simply lack.